Norway in winter, cold, lots of snow, hibernation is tempting. Every now and then I decide, let's leave the warmth and head out and explore a little bit and try and do some things on my bucket list and not always be a hermit hiding from the snow. I mean, I don't ski, I don't, yeah, I'm not really a snow person. As you get older, your bucket list gets more important to you. Well, it does for me anyway. So I thought, what would I like on my bucket list? So one item on my bucket list was to go dog sledding. And I thought I'd only be able to do this in Alaska or in Tromso in North Norway. But when we had so much snow in the Upland region in Norway, I started thinking, Maybe, just maybe, I'd find a dog sledding tour place near where I'm currently living. And, yoo-hoo, there was one near Lillehammer at a place called Shishin. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Shishin, shish. Blah, blah, blah. So Lillehammer became famous for hosting the Winter Olympics way back in 1994. It's an hour and a half from Oslo on Lake Mjøsa, the biggest lake in Norway. Shishin is 30 minutes from Lillehammer. Getting there is a bit of a mission. You can hire a car, wait ages for a bus, or hitch a ride. I hitched a ride there and back. Shishin is in the middle of nowhere, the Wop Wops. As you arrive, you hear the excited barking of the dogs. They use Alaskan Huskies, which are a mixed breed, and all have one thing in common. They love to run. I mean, these dogs are unbelievable. You've never seen such excitement as they are going to be hitched up to their teams. They give you a quick lesson in how to control the team of dogs, specifically how to break, as these dogs are addicted to speed. So, once you know what to do, you become a musher. Mushing is another word for the dog sledding. It was great fun, although the dogs fart and poo all the way. Unbelievable. i tell you something. I wish I had a mask because they are, it's smelly. Nobody prepared me for the smell of dog poop the whole way. So don't think you're going there to enjoy the smell of fresh air. It's dog poop. And afterwards you can sit around a fire, share a hot drink and bake some bread on a stick. They have these uh, yeah, it's like bread dough, which is wrapped around a um, the stick, which you then bake over the fire. So, all in all, I can say, uh, Surgeon Husky Tours were very professional. The dogs are happy and healthy. And I'm really pleased that I had this experience. So, on to the next adventure. So how do you say this word? Shush, 
schön. 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 Ja. Thank you.